Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Nathan Cudgel here, and I've gained 178 subscribers in the past month despite me literally yelling in my videos, unsubscribe. Time to end it all. Oh, yeah. That's good. Aren't my videos just great? It's gotten to the point now where I'm literally just chugging hand sanitizer for views. That's advertiser friendly. Okay, let's think. I'm a commentary channel. What do commentary channels do? Oh yeah, complain about YouTube 24-7. Time to do that! Now, YouTube recently announced, I'm getting this from a Gizmodo article. Uh, I, actually, Gizmodo? This is actually a pretty good article. Good job, Gizmodo. Norm normally I hate the mainstream articles, but you know what? It's pretty good. Good job, uh, uh, Brian Menengus. Men Menengus? Menengus? Menengus. My penis? YouTube is going to bury borderline content and it won't tell us what that even means. Basically, if you don't know, starting, I want to say December, YouTube has changed its uh, rules and its guidelines to basically take it from being pretty vague and not very specific to being not specific at all and pretty much means nothing at this point. Last week in a company blog post, YouTube informed its approximately 2 billion users that would begin to change how recommendations function, reducing instances of content that comes close to, but doesn't quite cross the line of violating our community guidelines. What defines borderline content, and who does the defining? That's where things get hazy. Uh, Susan, Susan Wojcicki, uh, is me chugging hand sanitizer, is that, uh, is that borderline? I, I don't know. Your guidelines don't say anything about hand sanitizer chugging, so I I I, just, I don't know at this at this point. That channel sucks. You like that ASMR? Now, basically, what YouTube's saying is, if your content is somewhat controversial, and it doesn't even say what that means. It's not going to get recommended. So basically, they're punishing users for guidelines they never actually put in place. You see, I used to think the YouTube guidelines were decent. See, whenever you're running a massive company like YouTube, you got to run a fine line between being very specific and very vague. If you're too vague, no one knows how to make videos correctly, and there ends up being a ton of hypocrisy. If you're too specific, obviously, there's... 2 billion users on YouTube, it's hard to regulate 2 billion people without having some hypocrisy, so you don't want to be too specific either. And for a little while, YouTube, they ran across that line alright. It was still terrible, but at least I got a somewhat sense if I knew what I couldn't put in my videos. For example, a, a, a dead body. You can't you can't put that in a video, Logan Paul. You might, you might not have known that, Logan Paul, but uh, you, can't, you, can't, you can't put that in a video, Logan Paul. Now, YouTube used to run across that line somewhat decent, but now since December, they're slowly moving to just be completely and totally vague, so I have no idea what I'm doing wrong, why my videos aren't getting recommended, why I have a community guideline strike, why Monkey Jones' channel has been terminated, but you have no idea now. You see, you have to think about it from YouTube's point of view. When you're running a massive company like this, having vague rules is better from their point of view, because there's less ways they can be called out for being terrible at enforcing their rules. Oh, there's just a channel you don't like? Delete, give them three community guideline strikes, and the rules are so vague, it doesn't matter. This is an issue that's been going on for a long time. This is just now starting, but it's the exact opposite of what I wanted YouTube to be in 2019. At the very beginning of this year, I made a video, it got like 19 views, it did terrible on my channel. It was basically New Year's resolutions for YouTube to not be so terrible in 2019. One of my biggest points in that video was that YouTube needs to communicate more. Don't just ignore entire creators. <coughs> PewDiePie. Actually communicate. Tell us what we need to do for our videos to actually do good on the algorithm. Don't make it so we have to figure out that information ourselves months later. And basically them turning their guidelines to be super vague and then just deleting channels like Monkey Jones with really no reason? That's not communicating more. That's not communicating more at all. So all, all I can say to you, Susan Wojcicki, is uh great job uh you're doing great uh you really are running the platform great i don't think i could run it any better uh, thank you thank you so much i cannot thank you enough season to do you are absolutely amazing
I think that's gonna have to end the video here. I, uh, I don't think I can get any better content than spitting hand sanitizer out my mouth on camera. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and, uh... Bye.